Hi friends, welcome to the channel Dinners. Here we are discussing about General Aptitude Part 2. Here we are discussing about some more important formulas, model questions. You can try, you can familiarize with that type of questions. And first question. Both A and B are the children of X. Mr. B is a A's brother but A is not the brother of B. How is A related to B? This is also a confusing question but it is easy to solve. You can try with making a family tree. For example, I will solve it here. Answer is sister. How it will get? I will try with a family tree. So here A is the brother of B. In question B is not the brother of A and both are the children of X. So B will be sister of A. Easy to answer this kind of question with a family tree. And next question. Mr. X, a doctor, was operating a patient and told that the patient is the elder brother of the son of my grandfather. What is the patient to the doctor? Mr. X, a doctor, was operating a patient and told that the patient is the elder brother of the son of my grandfather. What is the patient to the doctor? If you are making a family tree, easy to answer this kind of questions like this. Mr. X, that is doctor and she is telling that patient is the elder son of the son of grandfather that means uh, son means doctor's father so patient is the eldest elder son of his father that is so relation will be father's brother this is also easy to solve with a family tree so next we are going to profit and loss type of questions and in that we need to find out some formulas that is profit equal profit equal to selling price minus cost price profit percent equal to gain into 100 divided by cost price same we can tell loss also loss equal to cost price minus selling price loss percentage means loss multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. In case of gain percentage, we will tell selling price equal to cost price multiplied by 1 place gain percentage by 100 and cost price equal to selling price divided by 1 plus gain percentage by 100. In case of loss percentage, selling price equal to Cost price multiplied by 1 minus loss percentage divided by 100. This is the important formula for solving profit and loss type questions. So we will go to first question. If a watch is brought for RS 1200 and sold for RS 1500, what is the gain percentage? So in this we can find out the by formula. What are the things here given? That is cost price is given. That is 1200 and selling price also given 1500. Then gain percentage. So what is the formula for gain percentage? So gain, gain. First we need to find out gain. Then we will find gain percentage. So gain is equal to selling price of the watch minus Cost price of the watch that is equal to 1500 1, minus 1200 equal to 300 rupees. Then gain percentage equal to gain into 100 divided by cost price that is 300 into 100 divided by 1200 that will be 25 percentage. So it is easy to solve. If you are understand the question, you can 
easy to solve within 5 seconds. Next question. By selling a book for 144 rupees, gain is 24, 20%. If it sold for 30%, 30% gain, then what is the selling price of the book? This is little bit complicated. So, if you are understanding this question, you can easily solve. So, here in question, in first case, selling price of the book, they are mentioned 144 and the gain percentage also given that is 20, 20 percentage. In that, we can find out the cost price. So, formula is selling price divided by 1 plus gain percentage by 100. So, if you are applying the values, selling price 144 divided by 1 plus 20 divided by 100. So, that will be 144 divided by 100 plus 20 by 100 that equal to 144 into 100 by 120 that is equal to 120 rupees. So, we got cost price. Cost price of the book here that is 120. So, in the question, in second case, they have mentioned they are selling with 30 percentage of grain. So, here we, we know cost price is 120 gain percentage they, uh, in question given it is 30 percentage so selling price we can get by cost price multiplied by 1 plus gain percentage divided by 100 that is equal to 120 into 1 plus 30 by 100 so that will be equal to 120 multiplied by 130 by 100 that is equal to 156 so here Selling price of the book that is 156 rupees. If you are understanding this question, you can apply the values and you can get the answer of the question. Then next question. So here we are discussing about that speed and distance of boat. So a boat covers, question is, a boat covers a distance of 35 km in 5 hours in direction of flow. And it covers the same distance in 70 hours in opposite direction. Opposite direction of flow. What is the speed of boat in still water? So, we can check the equations here. Let the speed of the boat in still water be u kilometer per hour and the speed of the stream be v kilometer per hour. Then, the speed of downstream equal to u plus v kilometer per hour speed of upstream equal to u minus v kilometer per hour let the speed of downstream be a kilometer per hour and speed of upstream be b kilometer per hour speed in still water equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by a plus b kilometer per hour and rate of stream equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by a minus b kilometer per hour. So, in the question, we can check speed of the boat in downstream that is equal to distance by time that is given in question 35 divided by 5 equal to 7 kilometer per hour. Then, speed of the boat in upstream also given that is 35 divided by 7 because distance is same. So, that is equal to 5 km per hour. So, we got speed of boat in downstream and speed of boat in upstream. Then, speed of the boat in still water that is equal to according to formula 1 by 2 multiplied by 7 plus 5 that is equal to 12 by 2 equal to 6 km per hour. Next question, a boat in the direction of flow covers a distance of 60 km in 4 hours. If speed of the boat doubles the speed of the flow, then how much distance it covers in 2 hours opposite the flow? A boat in the direction of flow covers a distance of 60 km in 4 hours. If speed of the boat doubles the speed of the flow, then how much distance it covers in 2 hours? opposite in the flow. So, this is little bit complicated. So, 
understand the question, then derive the formulas and solve it. So we can check it how we can solve it. Speed of the boat in downstream that we can find out with this question that is 60 divided by 4 that is equal to 15 km per hour. Then speed of the boat in downstream that is equal to speed of the boat in still water plus speed of the flow that is equation 1. According to question speed of the boat in still water equal to 2 multiplied by speed of the flow. So this applies in equation 1 speed of the boat in downstream equal to 2 into speed of flow plus speed of flow that is equal to 3 speed of flow that is we find out that is 15 km per hour then speed of flow v equal to 15 divided by 3 that is 5 km per hour. So here we got speed of the boat in downstream, speed of the flow, the next speed of the boat in still water u equal to speed of the boat in downstream minus speed of the flow. So 15 minus 5 that is equal to 10 km per hour. Then speed of the boat in upstream that is u minus v that is equal to 10 minus 5. Distance covered in 2 hours equal to speed of the boat in upstream multiplied by time. So 5 into 2 equal to 10 km per hour. Please write it in a paper and solve it. Then only you can understand this, this question. So next question. Next question we will find out the area. How to solve the questions with the area. So some important formulas are here. Area of rectangle equal to length into breadth. Perimeter of rectangle equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Perimeter of rectangle equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Area of square equal to side square. That is any one of the side they will give. So square of that one will be area of the square. Then perimeter of square equal to 4 into side. Circumference of circle equal to 2 pi multiplied by radius. Here pi equal to 22 by 7 or 3.14. Area of circle also equal to equal to pi into radius square. Area of triangle equal to root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Where S equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. And one more important formula is area of 4 walls of a room that is equal to 2 into height into length plus breadth. Okay. Then we will go to solve one or two questions. First question, the ratio of circumference of two wheels is 2 is to 1. If the circumference of bigger wheels is 396 cm, then what is the radius of smaller wheel? The ratio of circumference of two wheels is 2 is to 1. If the circumference of bigger wheel is 396 cm, then what is the radius of smaller wheel? So we can check how to solve it. Let the radius of the bigger and smaller wheel will be R1 and R2 cm. Then circumference of bigger wheels equal to 2 pi R1 cm. Circumference of smaller wheel equal to 2 pi R2 cm. According to problem, 2 pi R1 divided by 2 pi R2 equal to 2 by 1. That is ratio is 2 is to 1. So that is applying in here. 396 divided by 2 pi r2 equal to r2 equal to 396 divided by 2 into 2 into 22 by 7. 22 by 7 is value of pi. That is equal to 396 into 7 by 88. 
that is equal to 31.5 cm. So, radius of the smaller wheel is equal to 31.5 cm. Next question. A rectangular field is 90 meter into 50 meter. Inside the field, there is a path, path of width 5 meter bordering the field. What is the area of the path? Once again, a rectangular field is 90 meter into 50 meter. Inside the field, there is a path, path of width 5, 5 meter bordering the field. What is the area of path? It is simple, sim, we can solve it simply. If you understand the question, so we can understand the question with the picture. So here is the picture. The outer in question they are mentioned the values of length and breadth of the field that is 90 centimeter is breadth and length is 50 centimeter that is outer outer uh, measurements. So inside that field 5 centimeter width there is a pathway. So we can find out the area of inside rectangle that is 50 minus 5 minus 5 that is 40 meter so 40 meter length breadth will be 90 minus 5 minus 5 so area of outer rectangle equal to 90 into 50 that is equal to 40 4500 square meter and area of rectangular field in area of inside rectangular field that is 80 into 40 that is 3200 then area of the path equal to 4500 minus 3200 that is equal to 1300 square meters. Question ends here. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Dinners. Thank you.